Morning everyone, hope you're well. Welcome to the Norfolk Broads. Noisy. It's a beautiful morning. Very clear, very still at the end of the day. So I thought, yeah, this would probably be a good morning and yeah, good decision. So really nice to be out here at Thurn. Little bit thwarted down there with the shots of the mill. Um, Thurn Mill has a very famous white mill, but of course we're in July now. Very, very busy, lots of broad cruises about. Um, and they're really pig ugly. So I may not be able to get any pictures of the, of the white mill today, but we'll see. But it's nice to have a little walk by the river here. And hopefully the mist will stick around. Um, looking gorgeous. So I can't gas on to you guys, I have got to get on. So hopefully I'll be back with you in a little while with, um, with the first shots of the morning, okay? Well, everyone, in this um, in this view, we're looking across to St Bennett's Mill, which is a which is on the other side of the River Fern. Um, all the reed beds here, this little thing here, he comes. Reed beds are here. Just behind the reed beds here is the river, and then you're looking across as as I said to St Bennett's Mill. I think this will make a quite nice shot. Um, the mill is not particularly well defined at the moment, which is which is actually quite nice. Though the little sort of summer house, holiday home type thing in front is is sticking out quite nicely with its lovely distinctive green roof. So what I might do is reach for a slightly longer focal length and try and do a sort of a compressed version using using the holiday home house, whatever you want to call it, and using the mill. And uh, the, the two masts are really nice. They really fit the composition really nicely. So what I'll do is I think I'll probably pop, pop on the 135 and have a go with this and put this one up. This might be a rather nice shot, this one. Well, the sun is well and truly up now, um, but I'm looking back towards the sun and I think this is a rather nice backlit image. Yeah, it should be rather nice. I can see this quite nice with, um, with maybe a little bit of toning, who knows, a little bit of romanticism added in, who knows, this could be, could be nice as it is. In this instance, I've just um, focused on the, um, on the spider's web. Let me get, let, get Mr. Finger in there. There it is, because I'm on the 135, so it's going to be a bit blurry, but there you go, I wave over it there. And I've been focusing on the on the spider's web. You've got that lovely little stalk on the left hand side, just filling that little bit of a gap. It's amazing what a difference just that little little bit of plant makes. Um, yeah, should be quite a nice, should be quite a nice sort of abstract. So I should put this up in a tick and look for some more of this backlit stuff because um, the grasses look really really gorgeous now. And then I'm going to make a beeline to have a have another go at shooting St Bennett's Mill. Well guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. A little disappointed because the mist has burnt off quite quickly here. As I look towards the marshes that way, the marshes across the other side of the river, still a little bit of mist about, but unfortunately the area that I've chosen that seems to have burnt away fairly quickly. Still beautiful light. Obviously you can see St. Bennett's Mill behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get to the, um, to the edge of the river and shoot towards the mill that way. It's a bit of a classic Norfolk Broad shot, but I'm gonna have a go because it's lovely light this morning. Hopefully there's some little bits of mist on the water. Sort of demonstrated for you there what mist might look on the water. And hopefully that'll make a nice shot. I'd, like I say, I'll, I'll have a walk back towards Thurn Mill and see if I can shoot it, but there really are Broads cruises everywhere and it might be very difficult and the mist may have gone by then. But I'll have a go. 
So I'll um, put up a shot, hopefully this shot in a little while. There's also some nice shots of it through the reeds here, which, I've, which, I've, which I'll put up as well. But lovely morning. I'm gassing on too much. Well, I was really pleased with those images by the riverside of St. Bennett's Mill. Could have done with a bit more mist, but yeah, really, really like that, really liked it. It was, um, I stuck with the 35 for that. So you might, you may look at that and think, well, the mill's a little bit, you know, further back in the image. Why didn't you perhaps use a 50 or go in a little bit nearer? But I didn't want it looking so compact. I wanted the mill within its setting really, rather than here's the mill. And sometimes we can be a bit guilty of just zooming in on a subject like that. And there's no context to it. There's no, you know, here is its environment. So um, that's why I stuck with the 35 for that. So it's a bit of a big wide image, a bit of a big old Norfolk image. Pity we didn't have a few fluffy clouds, but you wouldn't have missed if you had fluffy clouds, I suppose. So um, I'm gonna move on down the path. You can see Thurn Mill in the distance there. If I can get one of Thurn Mill today, that will be a miracle. I just, I think that's gonna be impossible, but I'll go and have a little look. Yeah, lovely. Well, I've got waylaid again, guys, but that isn't a problem, is it? It's nice just to see things as you're trundling along. What I've done is I've put the 35 on, Natch, and said it's a 1.4, it's lovely at 1.4, absolutely gorgeous. And I was just trying to take more abstract images of the mill. So I've got these lovely, all these lovely broadland plants at the front here with the mill just being, you know, suggested in the image rather than in focus. And I think it's quite, um, I think it's quite effective, quite abstract. Might be a nice idea for a little bit of vignetting in the corners, a little bit of toning. It might be quite effective, but, um, nothing ventured. So if this works and I can work out how to do split toning successfully, I'll put this up after this. Oh, it's a pity, can't take this shot today, guys. I've shot this one in the past and it's quite a popular shot, especially at winter when all the reeds have turned a beautiful golden. And it's a lovely lead in line down the path here, this lovely path beside the river with Thurn Mill in the background. But today, as you can probably see, there's a few masts. I don't mind the masts on the, um, on the left-hand side of the image or as, as you view it here, but there's one right in front of the mill and my cloning skills are not up to much. I'm a very, very basic Lightroom and Photoshop user, so I can't be asked for that sort of thing. Might have been nice in the mist this morning, but it'll have to be for another day. Anyway, I'm not giving up on the day yet. I think there might be, might be something out there still for me, but the mist is more or less gone from this area. But anyway, I'll go and have a look and um, hopefully there'll be something else to put up in a minute. Okay, guys, I think that's time for me to sign off. It's harsh, I'm hungry. Tea, maybe rich teas, and cornflakes of weight. Thanks ever so much for joining me in the Norfolk Broads. Short but sweet morning, 
but lovely to be out. I'm glad I forced myself out this morning. Um, what I will say is, if you do watch the videos, thanks ever so much firstly, and perhaps it'd be great if you could leave a comment. I'm a little bit comment light, I think, on some of the videos at the moment, and I really appreciate that. Some suggestions, some feedback, and just a little bit of interaction. That's one of the reasons I came onto YouTube. Um, so many of the other social media platforms, it's like, great shot, nice shot. This is very much like what James Burns was mentioning in one of his recent videos. The nice shot, great shot, but nothing else in Joe. That's no good to anyone. I want to try and develop as a vlogger and make better films for you guys out there. Um, but without feedback, I can just keep sailing along doing the same old thing, which I am doing a bit at the moment, but this is to get the channel set up. I want to bring in other things later on, but I need suggestions, I need help, I need feedback. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Lovely. See you all later, all right? Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other.